I am regretful to inform you that the process of creating an animated anything is far more expensive, labor intensive, and time consuming than most people give it credit for. They call them the $100 million blockbusters for a reason, after all. So, how long exactly does it take to make such a product? Let's talk about it. Before we continue, let me tell you about Skillshare, which is a platform that has hundreds of classes about animation, drawing, illustration, and several other creative fields. We've got you guys this course from the Skillshare website about Adobe Animate, which will guide you through the software. It's an introductory course designed for absolute beginners, and it is taught by Tony Pantoa, who will show you the basics of Adobe Animate. The course includes the interface basics, frame-by-frame -frame basics, and more. And you will also be animating a bouncing ball. The Skillshare platform offers a wide variety variety of additional related courses and the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description will receive a free month of premium membership. Alright, now back to the video! First of all, the time it takes to make an animation project is dependent on quite a number of factors, most important being budget, talent, and quality. BTQ for short. No, not BBQ. Although it never hurts anyone to have some. Anyways, let's start with budget, because money is important, you know? Yeah, wow, no one would have guessed. Anyways, the more money you have to spend, the more talent you can hire, and the smoother the workflow will be, thus resulting in a higher quality product. See the correlation? And more importantly, the less time it would take for set talent to produce their work, because, well, more people are simply involved, thus reducing the number of tasks each person has to tackle. Speaking of people being involved, the next factor is talent. Think of it this way. If you have a team of 10 people that have never practiced a profession before, and another team of 5 experts that have spent their whole life mastering their craft, who do you think would make the better product in a shorter amount of time? Yeah, sure, the team of 10 people can eventually figure out how to streamline the process, but in the time it takes them to do so, the experts would have already finished something that is of representable quality. And this logic also applies to animation, bringing us to our final point, which is quality. You'll often hear that intent is the key to all things, what you want to do with any given task or project. A lot of low-budget animations can be compared in quality to feature films. They naturally would take years in development, but the quality would be visible in the final product. Comparatively, a lot of high-budget animations can be questionable at best. They're often referred to as rushed or unfinished, just made in order to release something to the market. So, normally, as a general rule of thumb, it's often agreed upon that the better you want something to turn out, the more time you have to spend on it, or the more money you have to pour into it. Both options can be unrealistic at times. So, how long should animation take, exactly? Other factors can affect the time an animated project would take to finalize, but we would rather not linger on those. What we're trying to say here is, much like everyone who agrees with Einstein would say, time is relative, and time spent is going to depend on what you want to do, the person that does it, and how much you want to invest into it. So, theoretically, with infinite money, you could spend infinite time working on something. But that's not realistic now, is it? So, much like most industries, humans like to standardize things, and that's where the 8-week rule comes into play. Now, this is by no means a hard set rule. Some people get less time, and some people get more. In Japan, the standard TV anime episode takes around 6 weeks of production, while the more ambitious studios can extend that to almost double. But for the sake of example, we will take the 8 week production time and try to break it down as best as we can to give you a much clearer idea on how this time is spent. It only makes sense for the first step to be figuring out what the people are going to make. And this is the stage where said figuring out happens. Stylistic elements, target audience, if there's source material, all this is discussed and is put together in the form of a creative offer. This normally takes three to six days to complete. Next comes writing the actual script. 
Regardless of what kind of production it is, a script is crucial for figuring out dialogue and story beats. It's also what the visual artists will work off of to bring the animation to life. Generally, it takes the copywriters and directors 5 to 8 days to complete the brainstorming phase. No, the drawing hasn't started yet. It's voiceover time. Actually, that's kind of not true because voiceover can be done in parallel with illustration and concept art. It's, however, crucial to record the voiceover before the animation starts, since it's what the animators will work off of in order to sync the pacing, lip movement, and facial acting to. So we could say it takes one day all the way to three, but in this very lossy goozy process, this step is probably the most elastic part. After that, we get started on the foundation of all visual entertainment, which are storyboards. They're fairly simple to understand. It's the script in an illustrated form, helping to define key moments and important story beats. They can be completed within a 4 day to a week time frame. Key illustrations or keyframe illustration, not to be confused with the keyframes used during animation. These are essentially more polished versions of storyboards. The most important moments are taken and illustrated with the guidance of an art director to figure out the more technical aspects of style, lighting, color, and all that fun stuff. It ensures consistency and provides a more holistic view. The team normally gets it done in two to four days. This step is tricky since it's essentially storyboards and key illustrations in video form. It's used as a checkpoint to mark progress and verify the direction the animation is headed. It doesn't have a specific time frame and it's a constant that comes back often, which is why we thought it was worth mentioning. This is where the final characters sheets, backgrounds, props, and everything else is finalized in excruciating detail to provide the most amount of information possible for the animators to do their work smoothly and efficiently. It involves a lot of detail in both the illustrations themselves and in the goals this step has to achieve. It naturally takes a significant amount of time to complete, 12 to 16 days to be exact. Hey now, would you look at that? It has been 6 weeks and we haven't even started the animation proper yet. Thankfully, it's the very next step. Most of the 2 to 3 remaining weeks will be spent properly animating and putting the finished product together. Fear not though, the in-depth process of creating the animation proper will be covered in another video. For now, all we want you to know is that this isn't even the phase that takes the longest, nor even the final step of the pipeline. That honor belongs to sound design. We have to make thunder sound like thunder and water like water. Right? Footsteps, wind howls, insect buzzing, and even music. These again can be produced in parallel, but as a final step, it can take a day or three. The eight week timeline can be enough to produce a good quality work of animation. But remember, it's not a rule as much as it is a loose guideline to keep the production flowing. Assuming that everything runs smooth and there is no to minimal hiccups along the way. And as we all know, that can be quite unrealistic. So as we kept reiterating, it can take way more than just eight weeks. Assuming the goal is only TV quality. As a final statistic, one minute of quality TV animation takes from 30,000 to 50,000 USD to produce. For only one minute, that's a large amount of money indeed. And large productions come with large expectations to regain that money back. Safe to say that it's an immense pressure on the artists that are already doing their absolute best to deliver. So next time the production gets delayed, cut the crew some slack, jeez. You can be certain that if it was something in their control, it would have been solved already. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Did you find this informative? If you did, feel free to leave a like, share your favorite animated show or movie with us in the comments below, and maybe share it with that impatient friend that keeps complaining about the next season of Chainsaw Man. Subscribe so you don't miss any of our uploads. With that being said, thank you for watching as always, and see you next time.